This is a question that most students find challenging in attempting. All right. So I'm going to show you the skill and the way or process of solving such kind of equation. All right. So the question says, what must be added to 6x squared minus 13x to make the expression a perfect squared? All right. So let me pick my pen and select a nice color that I'm going to use to solve this question. So here is the solution. I'd like you to pay maximum attention and follow along as I solve this question. So let me write out the expression 6x squared minus 13x. Uh, here, is the question, here is the expression. And uh, I'm to answer the question, or I'm to solve for the term or a number that should be added to this expression. Uh, which will make it a perfect square. All right. So now let me uh, digress a bit. A, uh, assuming the question is uh, uh, an expression without a coefficient of x squared. So suppose this x squared has no coefficient 6. Then to answer such a question, it's as easy as a, b, c. So that means the question will look like this. x squared minus 13x. So, so assuming here is the question I was uh, we are meant to answer. Now what is uh, what must be added to this expression to make it a perfect square? Then the simple thing that we can do in this case, in this particular case over here, is to uh, write out the coefficient of x divided by two and squared the result. So whatever this gives you is the number that will be added to the expression which will make it a perfect square and uh, that is uh, the answer all right so that will be the number that will be added to this and uh, which will make it a perfect square so minus uh, negative 13 over 2 will be the number that will be added to this expression uh, which will make it a perfect square so this in this case it is very very easy to to solve did you see that that is very easy to attempt but this uh, particular question given to us is, is a peculiar or a special case so to solve this particular one here is the process uh, in solving this particular question all right so first thing i will do here is uh, is i would like to factor out six even though six is not common to both terms but you can see bring it out factor it out that is six times x squared minus 13 over 6x all right so because uh, i factored out 6 i had to divide this 13 by 6 so that when i open up the bracket I, would, I should get back this initial expression now having done that having done this uh, we can now take that step i have just illustrated at the right side of the screen and what is the step the step is to write out the coefficient of x so let's write it out somewhere here the coefficient of x is 13 over 6 then multiply it by half or by just multiply the 6 by 2 and squared the result so just like saying I'm multiplying negative 13 uh, over 6 by half all right so when you squared that result pick it so then okay let me simplify. let me first simplify what we have in the bracket so this is going to be 13 divided by 12 all to the power of 2 so this is what uh, i'll take i'll pick this and add it to the the expression in the bracket so it's going to become 6 into x squared minus 13 over 6 x plus uh, negative 13 over 12 all squared and we have yet another bracket please just pause and think what do you think I'm doing right now <clears throat> if you're familiar with solving a quadratic equation 
by completing the squared method so you would know that that is exactly what i'm trying to do all right so i've done that the next step uh, we should take is uh, simplifying or collecting instead of simplifying i'm going to pick those terms with squares this term with a square and this other term with a square then uh, give them a common squared so this is going to be x uh, minus 13 over 12 all to the power of 2 so i'm giving a common squared to this all to the power of 2 all right so we can now go ahead and expand that curve uh, that the term in the curve bracket so in, in expanding this of course you know what to multiply it multiply the expression x minus 13 over 12 by itself multiplied by x minus 13 over 12 and the next step would be the next step would be 6 open your square bracket x times x that will be x squared okay x times negative 13 over 12 that is minus 13 over 12 x all right minus 13 over 12 by x is same thing as minus 13 over 12 x then minus 13 over 12 times minus 13 over 12 would be plus 169 over 144 okay i hope you are following me closely all right so at this point would uh simply add up the like terms in the squared bracket so don't forget i'm still carrying along the six outside the bracket so that is uh, x squared all right x squared negative 13 by 12 x by minus negative 13 minus 13 by 12 x would be minus 26 by 12 because the fractions have same denominator simply add up the numerator don't forget we are adding to the negative so that's why i have minus 26 by 12 x plus 169 by 144 all right 169 by 144 i hope this is making a lot of sense to you okay next step is to now open up the squared bracket by distributing the 6 over the three terms in the bracket that means i'm multiplying 6 by each term in the black in the bracket so 6 times x squared will be 6x squared. 6 times minus 26 by 12. 6 in 12 is of course 2. And 2 in 26 is 13. That is minus 13x. I hope that is clear. Let me come again. Let me extend that point again. Uh, 6, don't forget, this is what we're, we're about to do. We're multiplying 6 by 26 by 12. And 6 can divide 12 2 times and 2 can divide 26 13 times that is how I got this 13 X plus again 6 by 144 is 24 or 6 divided by 144 will be 24 so this is 169 by 24 all right so again we've been able to arrive at uh, a quadratic equation which has the first two terms to be similar to these first two terms which are is similar to the first two terms given in the equation 6x squared minus 13x so and i believe you have you've seen the answer already so the question again, let's read again, what must be added to this to make the expression a perfect square? Of course, this is the number that must be added for the expression to be 
a perfect square. So you can say therefore, therefore, 169 over 24 is the number that should be added. Is the number that should be added that should be added to that should be added to added to 6x squared minus 13x to make a perfect squared to make a perfect squared to make a perfect squared and this brings us to the end of the solution but how do we confirm so i'm done with the solution already but let me just convince you that this expression i have over here is indeed a perfect squared so if it's a perfect squared it means i should be able to write it as as some some express some expression to the power of two so if this whole expression we have the final answer 6x squared minus 13x plus 169 over 24 is a perfect squared i should be right i should be able to write it as some expression all to the power of two that is some expression squared and i expand that that should give us back 6 x squared minus 13 x plus 169 over 24. now to convince you that this is actually a perfect squared i'll take you to my favorite application over here so i'm going to do something uh we're going to enter the expression just watch what i do so i'll type in the expression let's try and factorize it let's factor let's factor the expression 6x squared 6x squared minus 13x plus 169 by 24 and boom that is the factor so you can see that we're able to write that expression as and uh, the quadratic uh, expression as 12x minus 13 all squared divided by 24 so this is the factor of the given expression meaning that uh, it is actually now a perfect squared and also from the graph you can see the graph of the function a perfect squared meaning that when you factorize when you solve the equation although it's an expression but if you solve it as an equation you should get a unique root you should get a unique root that is x equals maybe two twice x equals three twice let's even see the solution let's solve it let's solve let's solve that equation and see what the root would be 6x squared um, minus 13x plus 169 by 24 so all right that is the answer that is the solution you can see the r uh, the value of x from here is uh, the value of x the root of the equation is 13 divided by 12 so 13 divided by 12 is the root again uh what must be added to this expression to make it a perfect squared is 169 divided by 24 so i hope you enjoyed this uh, video uh, please like it and uh, share for others to learn thank you do have a lovely time